Good morning. I'd like to welcome you today to today's message. It actually comes from John chapter 20, verses 19 through 31. In that part of the scripture, we hear the story about Jesus reappearing to his disciples. More importantly, we hear the story about John or doubting Thomas. Now, Thomas, basically, when he was approached by the other disciples and was told that their teacher had returned, he doubted them. He basically says, until I physically feel that wound in his hand, his arms, feel the scar in his side from where they stabbed him, I will not believe you. While that is a lovely story, and I do encourage you to read that scripture, today I want to talk about the impact of a modern day Christian. As a modern day Christian, we're going to be approached by people who are going to say, well, you talk about your Savior, Jesus Christ. How could the resurrection truly happen? There has been a lot of studies, a lot of scientists, a lot of atheists who try to shoot down this story. The best advice I can give you is something that I personally did when I was approached by other people. And that is to say, how can I believe in one thing and throw out the rest? For when I sat there and I read the scriptures in earnest, I discovered a teacher. I discovered a leader who basically had advice that does apply to modern day society. We live in a culture where basically we have people who are supposed to be our leaders or are supposed to give us guidance. And it seems that all they do is bicker between each other. Are they truly leading us? Are they truly the example that you'd want for your child? I don't. So that is why I fell in love with the teachings of Jesus. Because his approach to problems. Because the way that he addressed issues. Made me realize that's the type of person that I want to be. I want to follow Jesus. So as I sat there and I read the sermons, as I read the parables, as I read how Jesus did his outreach ministry, how he guided his disciples and those that followed him, I fell in love with that leader, that teacher. Jesus was a real life person. In fact, there's been people, atheists from different religions, backgrounds who do verify that Jesus truly did exist. So as I know that he truly exists, as I hear these stories, and I know that these stories have been in publication from even the earliest times because in some of the Egyptian mummies, the wrappings that they had were actually part of these scriptures, just small little sections of them, has proven that. So I can't throw out the resurrection. I truly do believe that Jesus did come back to his disciples. I truly believe that he did appear to them. Because I believe in the rest of the story. I believe that Jesus does speak to us now and days. God works in mysterious ways. There, you may get your message from a simple conversation or somebody who doesn't realize that they're giving you that message. So, as we go out today... As we sit and we contemplate and reflect in our time and the lessons that Christ wants us to learn, let us reflect that we should not doubt any part of Jesus' story, but we should believe in him. We should believe in him because he is the way to becoming a better individual. He has shown us how to treat others. And if we treat people with respect, with love, we give them hope and joy and show them peace, then maybe we can have a little bit of heaven here on earth. May God bless you and take care of you. Thank you.